welcome back to my channel my name is Claudia if you're new here so today I'm gonna show you guys how I organize my daughter's medical supplies my daughter has a tracheostomy and she also has a peg tube which is kind of like a g-tube so we get about five or six boxes a month of medical supplies I just wanted to show you where I organize it how I organize it so I hope that this will be helpful if you guys need some ideas because I do see a lot in our trait group a lot of new moms, well new trait moms are always like, how do you guys organize the supplies, help it so much. And so it's kind of cool to ping pong off each other and see how everybody else does it. But this is how I do it and this is how it has worked for me. I don't like to hoard supplies. I don't like to have like 10 boxes of syringes or anything like that. I like to have just what I have the month and maybe just two or three extra just in case anything crazy happens or they're late with the order or I forget to order the next month. So first I'm gonna show you guys where I organize everything and then my supplies. Guys, this is where I organize most of the supplies and this is just um, two of the three drawer plastic containers on top of each other. They do have wheels but I don't need the wheels since I have them stacked up and I don't ever move them. So the first spot I have is for feeding bags. There's nothing in there because we went out. Then the section machine stuff, and there's just like a few extra stuff in there as well. Vent tubing and parts. This will be, this is the tubing, and then any, anything else, you know, the Omniflexers that we need for the trait. This is extra stuff. We get a lot of gauze, and we get a lot of these. Um, this is saline bullets for whenever her trach is dry. Then we have extra trach ties and the two by two split gauze, which is what we put under her trach every day. And then this one is just for suction cap. And then this last one is for filters and inline suctions and the HMEs. So these are the HMEs. Oh, that's trash. So anyways, these are the HMEs and this is what Olivia wears to go out. And now that she's not on the ventilator during the day anymore, this is just what we'll put on her. And then these are the inline suctions, which I prefer to use as opposed to these because this is not sterile once it's open. And I don't feel comfortable opening her up every time to suction her. And this is a closed system, so no germs are going to get in there. I don't have to remove the trach, or I mean remove anything, any part of the trach, like the HME if it's attached or the tubing. So I think this is just a lot more sterile. And then I have this big tub where we put um, the trach care kits. And then I don't know why that's there, but... Those are just extra stuff. I'm going to get some trash. I'm going to take that out. Oh, and some tape. I don't know what the tape is for either. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that away. Okay, guys. So this is all the supplies I got this month. I already opened a bag of food. So it's already, I mean, a box of food. So it's already over there and put away for the most part. So this first huge box has a bunch of miscellaneous stuff, which we already dipped into because I need to put everything where it needs to go. And then this box just has trait care kits. This is the feeding bags. This is her nourish, her formula. And then this is another box of these. Hi. <laughs> My baby joined us. He just woke up from his nap. So the first thing I like to do is go through everything and see what I need and don't need. Sometimes they send me the wrong thing. Um, you know, sometimes they send me a surplus of things. Our order varies. I mean, I, I request the same template every year. I mean, every month of stuff that I need. But sometimes they just kind of mess up a little bit or they'll forget stuff or they're add extra stuff. So I just like to go through and separate what I need and whatever I don't need, I'll put into a bag. So I don't know if you guys want to see the supplies, but I'm going to show you guys. So we did get a bunch more of those. And those are just the two by two gauzes. I'll open one up so you guys can see what it looks like because I do have a bunch of them already. Let's see if I can get you straight. There you go. Hopefully the baby doesn't see you. Okay, that's what they look like. So her trach, hey, excuse me. So her trach will go right through here and it'll just soak up. It's, oh my goodness, <laughs> sorry guys. So it'll just soak up any of like the secretions or anything that come out around her trach. Cause she is a juicy little girl. And then we get these, and these are the four by fours, and these are not split gauzes. And these are not split gauzes like those other ones are. See? And we just—they're kind of—they're pretty thick, and they're really, really soft. And we use these 
to clean her, like to clean her around the trach. We use them for trach care. And then what else is in here? We have more of these, and this is the the saline that I was showing you guys. I do not need these, so I'm gonna put them also with this stuff. Okay. So these are the syringes that we get. We use the 60 cc's syringes and it comes with a little blue adapter if you need it for the G2 ports because it does have two little ports and it fits this and then you can actually take the bigger one off and it fits this tip without the little blue thing if you happen to lose it because we lose ours quite often and I think we get like four of those okay we got six of them so more than likely something got messed up with our other syringes because you only get 10 syringes a month with our DME company or that's the only thing that our insurance covers so if they sent six of this I don't know what else they sent but I guess we'll have to wait and see this. and this is just gonna be the inline syringes I mean the inline sections that I showed you guys this part right here this part right here opens up and it connects to her trach and then this part is where you connect the suction. This blue tip is gonna come off. And you can keep the blue tip and put it back on just to make it a little more clean if you want to. But it'll also lock right here. You twist it and it'll lock it so nothing is coming in or out. So that's pretty convenient. And I do need these. Okay, and then this is for the water filter which is what provides Olivia with humidity since she's not breathing through her nose and her mouth like we are. She needs humidity from somewhere and that's coming through the heater which is connected to her machine. So that's one of the water bags. I do need that. And then this is the filter, the water filter that connects to the water bag. Suction tubing, I do need those. These are the little, little suckers that we use for Olivia. They're the Neotech ones. And I like these because they do come with the cover. A bunch of them don't come with the cover. And we use these to suction her little mouth and her little nose. And you always go nose to mouth. You never go mouth to nose. So I do need those because we use a lot of them. Just because, you know, they kind of get gross. So you don't want to keep using the same one. Especially whenever we get so many. Let's see how many did we get. So we got 14 of them. So I do need those. And then these are more HMEs, like I already explained. Olivia uses these when we go out. And we do need those. We usually get a whole box of this box. I guess they just threw extras in there. This is the box that they come in. Okay. So I guess they just threw some extra in there. And I do need those. More split gauzes we don't need. And this is the... Wait, Son is trying to get this little car out. Okay. Oh yeah. So this is what we use to track her um, oxygen levels and her heart rate. It's a pulse ox. This is what it looks like, and we just connect it to the little machine that it comes with, and we'll put it on her toe, preferably on her toe. But usually, whenever she's in the stand or something, then we'll put it on her little hand. So I do need those, and I think I only get like four of those. But we do get extras of these and this will just attach to it I don't want to open it so we do get extras of these we get six extra in case the sticky starts to wear off on this and we'll just switch it out and put this on top that'll be fine and then we get four sets of tubing for her trace And then we also get some lubricant jelly and this is for whenever we do trach change because you can't just shove the trach in there. So this makes it a lot easier and a lot safer whenever you're doing that. And I do prefer the little packs instead of that, but whatever. Okay, and then we got these and these are Lorelox syringes and the tip is different than a regular syringe because this goes around the cuff of Olivia's trach. She does have a cuff trach. And we put two cc's of water in there and this is to take that water out before we're gonna do trach change because you can't just, once again, you can't just take it out, especially if it's inflated. So I do need those. I don't know what the heck this is. This is new. See what I'm saying? Like they always put stuff in. 
I really don't know what this is. Okay, this is just suction tubing. But we already got our suction tubing, so I don't need that. These are pieces for the tubing, and I actually don't know how to connect any of the tubing. My husband does all of that. So I do need those. These are, what are these, Omniflexers. This just makes it so you can bend the tubing. Oh, these are the whisper valves, and this is where Olivia exhales through. She exhales through here. And I think we get, yeah, we get two of those. More Omniflexers, we do need those. I don't know what this is. If anybody knows what this is, I mean, let me know, because we don't know what it is. Another Omniflexer, and then one of those weird things. Another weird thing. And another weird thing. And then we only got one box of trig ties this month. We usually get, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to get like two, but I mean, I have a bunch of extras, so I'm not gonna call them and bother them about it. And these are the ones that Olivia uses. They're really small, cause she's a little small girl. So, one bag of those. Another one of those. And then this is the water that we get. Every month we get four of these and we use them every time we do trach change. We do trach change once a week, but we do trach care multiple times a week and we use them as well for trach care. Hey, are you helping me? What else do we get? Oh yeah, these are filters for the suction machine. I need those. And then these are air filters for the tubing and the vent. So that's all that was in that box. So everything that I'm not gonna use, I'm gonna put back into the box and move it out of this room so their dad can take it. They usually send us oxygen tubing and nebulizer tubing. They did not this month, but I have extra, so I don't need it. So this is all the stuff that we're gonna get rid of, which actually is in a lot compared to the stuff that they usually give me. All right, I finally was able to put everything away because my son kept taking stuff out. I'm gonna show you guys everything now that it's stocked. Feeding bag stocked. The suction machine. Um, my husband already used the canister. We only get one canister a month. I would typically put it in here. If you don't have it, I just put those water bags in here. And there's extra gloves in there as well. And the bed all the suction stuff. The vent tubing and parts is all stocked up. The extra stuff. All I did was put that extra thing of trach ties in here. We did the suction case, so there's nothing changed in there. And then I just restocked the filters. That trash is still in here. And I took one out because I'm gonna change those out. I just restocked this, and then I'm gonna put the others in the box of stuff we don't need. And there are the filters for the machine. And here I just put the waters down here at the bottom of their closet. And there's the trash. So this box is just the other stuff that I showed you guys, but this stuff doesn't go in the closet. I'm gonna show you guys where I put that. And the Nourish, her little formula, I actually put under her crib and in one spot that we keep stocked up in the cabinet. So I'm gonna show you guys. So this is one of the areas that we keep for Olivia. All of her syringes are kept inside this little tub and her meds are right here. The nice that in, her calcium and her other meds is just for um, her muscles. And this is where we keep, keep bleh, can't talk. And this is where we keep our emergency trach supplies. So we keep the little gauzes in here, the split gauzes, and the trach tie. I do need to stock this up again, but that's where we keep that stuff. And then I usually put the soap just right there on the side. So that's one of the areas that we have for her. Oh, and her little hair bows are in here. And then right here above the microwave. We have another set of drawers for Olivia. This is where I keep her nourish. I do need to stock it up. There's only two bags in here. And then in this red little bucket, I keep the, um, let's see if I can fix the lighting a little. Okay, and in this red little bucket, I just keep extra stuff. This is a, a heated trait collar in case we needed it, but we really don't. I keep the pull foxes in here and the syringes in here. And just make sure miscellaneous stuff that I don't have any red like this. Okay, let's put that in there. So 
so that's full. And we're just gonna put that right in there. And then in this little tiny little thing, I keep the little sucker. This one doesn't have a blue cap, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. That one doesn't either, so I'm just gonna restock this. And I'm gonna take one out so I can switch. So I can switch the one that is connected to her um, suction tubing right now. Okay, so that one goes just right here. Again, right there. And then this one, I'm just gonna keep like the extra stuff. Like the lube will go in there. And I'm gonna put these in here. I usually just stand them up right here, but I think I kind of want them out of sight. And then up at the top, this is also for Olivia. This is like where I used to keep my pump stuff, but I actually moved it down here for easier access. But that's a whole nother thing. And then I have like some cake making stuff right there. And that's pump stuff in there. Anyways, so this is also for Olivia and that's where we keep these things. And then I think there's some extra ties in there. These are just like little things that you can put on the bed if you don't want it to get wet, but we really don't have an issue with that. And a bunch of Ambu bags and an emergency suction, manual suction. <sighs> they were also supposed to send us some syringes for her medicine, but they didn't. Cause like I said, we get 10 and sometimes they'll mess up and count the four Luralox syringes that are for the trach, but they're not supposed to count those. So I didn't get any for the meds, but I do have extra. So we'll just rinse them out clean them really well and just keep using that but yeah pretty much everything is done the box is empty i'm just gonna restock her emergency trach stuff so i'm just gonna switch out olivia's inline section and her little sucker can you say hi baby so i hope you guys liked the video i hope it was informative i'm sorry if it was kind of all over the place i probably should have tried to have it more structured but it's a lot <laughs> and I dread putting her stuff away. I dread making the order. It usually just sits in the boxes for like weeks until it's time to get the new order. Last month I was gonna do this video and I actually never got around to it and I actually also never got around to putting any of the stuff away. But she was actually in the hospital in February and so we had a lot of surplus of supplies from them. So that's why we didn't really touch any of it. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the video and if you did, please subscribe and like, right? And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.